Well, it's election day across the country, and the stakes are high in these midterm elections. In every state across the country, voters are making their voice heard. Republicans are hoping for a big night, while Democrats are just trying to hold on to the Senate. Yeah, 10 toss-up states will determine which party will take control of the Senate. If Republicans do take the Senate, it'll be the first time they control both chambers of Congress in eight years, providing them a short opportunity to set the agenda. Uh, adding a heightened challenge for President Obama to either work with them or spend his final years in office issuing vetoes all in the shadow of the upcoming 2016 presidential elections. Exactly, and it all depends on the voters, and voters in many states have choices that extend beyond parties and candidates. Issues ranging from marijuana to the minimum wage appear on some ballots, but for voters here in Flagstaff, there were more pressing issues on their mind. Yes, Amani, those issues included Proposition 406, the Road Repair and Street Safety Initiative, and the Flagstaff Unified School District's budget override continuation, as well as the Proposition 403 discussing sales tax relating to maintenance and preservation of Coconino County maintained roads. The city of Flagstaff has presented several political ads in major media outlets around the city, including the Daily Sun and KNAU, all to promote local legislation up for vote in the midterm election. The city of Flagstaff organized six different open house events along with these advertisements to educate voters on issues affecting the city. Flagstaff City Manager Kimberly Ott explains how these ads are aimed to inform voters. We can't advocate in any way. So the city cannot say vote for or against something, especially when it's ours or a candidate, anything like that. But the job we have is to educate and inform our voters. But it comes at a price, $6,000 to be exact, all to increase voter turnout on Election Day. Our biggest hope in, in spending the money on advertisements and holding the open houses is to get people to come out who truly just want to know a little bit more and ask questions that they're thinking about and get good information. So no matter how, to, how they vote, yes or no, on our issue, at least they can walk away feeling, okay, I know what I need to vote on and how I want to vote, and not just wondering what that issue is and wishing they'd gotten more information. Now, early this morning, attendance at ballots across northern Arizona have been mixed, with those in the Navajo Nation showing the most participants. However, here in Flagstaff, voter turnout was slightly lower than expected. For the last comparable election, which was a gubernatorial election, um, it's a little bit slower. Um, we, I'm hoping we're going to make at least 50 percent turnout, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. According to Patty Hansen, even among early voting ballots, only 50 percent of those issued have been returned. Still, these are just early numbers, and they're expected to reach the city's average of about 54 percent. Xavier Rangel, NAZ Today.